Part two of HDMI video to I2S output integrated into my Sony X1000ES. Take one. Lots of credit to uh, PS Audio for checking out my DAC and telling me there's nothing wrong with your I2S inputs. Just wanted to mention that one. And as you can see, I'm also uh, showing off uh, PS Audio's latest uh, test setup discs. Most important thing on this disc, and I'd give all credit to Paul McGowan, is left and right uh, channel check. And here goes the proof. Okay, there's a little fart of success. And it's not. It's coming out of the right because it's coming out of the wrong loudspeaker because they've still never fixed the channel reversal on the uh, the main HDMI to I2S board. It's still left is right and right is left. For those of you who don't care about all your other inputs on your DAC, it's not a big deal. You just flip the uh, output cables around and, and away you go. But for those of us who are using every input known to mankind on the back of their DAC, I need the the uh, channels um, corrected. Which again, just like in my video from last year, brings us to that guy. That's the S, that's the board that takes your I2S in and gives you channel correct I2S output. Now, of course, back when I did the first video, the Sony UBP X1000 ES was under warranty. It no longer is, so I just went, well, you know what? Since the uh, my original HDMI boards died over at a friend's place, um, taking his old Oppo um, BP83, it was a goodwill find, and um, it worked. The adapter boards worked and everything, got it home, and all of a sudden, everything just went for a shit, so whatever. So, yeah, ordered the boards. The, the black board took about a month to come here from China. The blue board took like a week. So, basically, everything that, that we people have done externally, I've managed to cram inside this uh, Sony unit, once again proving you do not need an Oppo. You don't need the BDP-203 or BDP-103 or 205 or whatever the fuck it is. People that are paying outrageous amounts of money for that right now, if they're watching this video, you're fucking stupid. All right, there's nothing wrong with the Sony transport here. Um, the thing's got some heft to it. I mean, look at the fucking power supply they give you. Because I got the ES version, which had the external DAC, which I've s since removed, it's, it, runs, it runs great. It always did run great, you know? So, yeah, all you fools that are buying Oppos and, you know, going all gaga, look at what I got. It's all bullshit. The DACs inside of those are no better than the ones that's in, that was inside my Sony. So anyways, getting back to this, enough of my ranting. Basically, all I had to do was, first of all, find a 5-volt source local to the board, which I did find. Let's see if we can zoom in here. Focus, 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 focus. So you can see that black mark there. That's not that's not a burn mark. That's my Sharpie. Uh, where that red wire is soldered to, um, both those caps have 5 volts on them. And for those of you uh, engineers out there that are thinking about, hey, I got a dog here. Let's get rid of that. Oops, dog hair is still there. How the fuck do you get dog hair in a fucking board? I'll fix that later. Anyways the five volts it's right off of those two caps there and the, because these boards don't take a hell of a lot of current um, it was a no-brainer to hook up the five volt rail to both the HDMI to I2S board here and the I2S to H, um, I2S into channel corrected I2S HDMI output there 
And I did add a few little uh, things here. I soldered the connector that comes with the ribbon cables because they send you the ribbon cables and separate connectors. So I soldered the um, connectors onto the board, uh, mapped everything out as per the original board. You've, I've got that on the original videos. You guys can reference that. And also remember reference the PS Audio forum that I've sent links to, to you guys before. I'll try and remember to add the links to this video. So it basically, yeah, the five volts, you can see where I, where I took it from, where I ran, ran it to. And then the I2S section here, whoopsies, that's the, there we go. Where are we here? Okay, so I basically just ran everything. Uh, I made an extender out of the extra um, uh, socket that they give you, board mounted socket and used, I had some extra ribbon cables from the old I2S boards that I had laying around. So yeah, you will need some cable length to go from the uh, one board to another. There's no other way to cram these in safely. And the beauty is nothing of the original is, is affected. So you can still stream YouTube, you can still stream Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, you know, all that crap, uh, Q, um, what is it, This the Sony, whatever. So yeah, I'm kind of doing this video for you guys on the fly. So again, everything works like a charm. Um, again, as I just showed you at the intro to Paul's uh, video there, even though I got a mono microphone, trust me, you need to have this board here if you're using an I2S input on your DAC and that same DAC is also having the coax used, USB and everything else. So really guys, it's a quick video, seven minutes. Um, I will put all the links in, I promise. I always say that and I never do it, but this time I'll do it. So there you go. Oh yeah, one other thing too, you'll notice a few things missing. I removed the optical connector and I removed the coaxial connector. I don't use either, I don't need to use either of them because I've got coax out, output on here. And the Optical output I don't use from this. The I use the uh, Blue Sound Node 2i coax and, and optical, which you guys seen that video already. And basically, yeah, that this is it. Uh, you can see what I did with the HDMI cables. So the video in from the back panel. Uh, that's the Audio Quest Cinnamon on the right side of your screen there. I basically hogged out a hole in the back of the panel and ran that into the HDMI output, HDMI output one. And then for my I2S, so I, again, the same, hog, same hole that I hogged out, I've got two HDMI cables coming out of there. One for HDMI input, and then the other one is my PCM I2S output. So remember, this connector here, PCM output works fine. Uh, you don't have to remove any more resistors or any of that nonsense. They did fix that. They just didn't fix the channel reversal stuff, which I kind of wish they would have, but whatever. Um, yeah, uh, removed the optical, removed the coax, gave me some uh, wiggle room inside. And this thing is rock solid. I've had it running for over an hour. Beautiful. And that's basically it for this video, guys. Thanks again for watching. It was a quick one. Talk soon. Uh, let me know your comments, questions, anything you guys got. But remember, the whole purpose of this is taking any Sony or old ancient Oppo that's got two HDMI outputs on it and being able to extract the I2S um, data stream or clock and data streams out of them into this board and basically feeding it into a DAC and getting proper DSD output. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one. Cheers. Bye.